bones in the sheer cliffs around Foxglove Manor have been revealed as the source of the undead plague in Sandport. Brave those haunted grounds and reveal the identity of the murderous master commanding the walking dead, <laughs> the sadistic skin saw man. All right, here we are. We're uh, going to try again to see if we can get past foul misgivings. It has been a beast. Um, so we're going to just jump right into it. You guys know uh, foul misgivings says here that when you encounter a haunt, put it in front of you, then roll 1d6 and add the number of haunts in front of all players. If the result is five or more, summon it and encounter the villain, Aisha Foxglove. And as you all may know already, we have not the capacity to defeat Aisha Foxglove. Um, now, we could start here. Carmen, let's go ahead and read through our locations again, because uh, we have already done this before and unfortunately failed. I have a farmhouse. Uh, if you would discard an ally, bury it instead. And when closing, summon and defeat a random monster. And here we have Foxglove Manor. Reveal Aldern Foxglove to banish all haunts in front of characters. Uh, well, we don't have him. When closing, succeed at an Intelligence or Arcane 8 check, which is really tough for us. Yeah. Um, there's no effect when closed. All right, then we got the Academy. It says, on your first exploration on your turn, if you encounter anything other than a spell, after, you, after the exploration, you may explore again. Uh, when closing, succeed at an Intelligence or Arcane 6 check. When permanently closed, on closing, you may shuffle a spell from your discard pile into your deck. Then, last but not least, we have the Warrens, and it says that when you encounter a monster, put a random monster from the box on top of another random open location. When closing, succeed at a Dexterity or Acrobat 6 check. All right, Kerman, where do you want to go, hon? We need to find him. That's the bottom line. Okay, I'm thinking I should go to the Warrens because I can close that location. Okay, well, I will go to the farmhouse then. And because uh, I do have the capacity of closing that, then I think we group up here in the center after that. That's a good idea. All right, let's draw our cards, see what happens. All right, not a bad selection here for the most part, as long as I don't encounter Aisha. Because she is <laughs> Pardon my French, but she is a bad girl. You could be able to do anything about it if you encounter her anyways. No matter what cards you've got. Beg her to stop beating on me? All right, <laughs> you want to go first or second? I'll go first. All right. Well, I'm going to take off my boots while you're go. going first. So. I got Mirror Image, which is a spell check to acquire as an Intelligence Arcane 6, which I cannot do because my Intelligence is a D4. All right. So that's just going to go away then. No big deal. Nope. Nothing gained, nothing lost. All right. <laughs> All right. So let's flip over for me. <laughs> hey. Hello, Mr. Skinsaw Man. Now, this is kind of bad. I didn't expect to actually encounter him this fast, but the good part is I do at least have some good weapons and blessings, so let's let's get this guy. Oh, wow. All right, so, um, all right, let's see what happens first off. It says, uh, the skin saw man is immune to the mental and poison traits. If there are no other characters at your location, the difficulty of checks to defeat the skin saw man is increased by 1d4. So let's see what that would be. One. So he will be a... 15 and a 17. Now, the good thing is I don't have any haunts in front of me yet either. So that's yeah. great. So I got a great chance of getting him. All right. So uh, I get to try to defeat him. And uh, it says check to defeat a combat. He'll be a combat 15. So I'll use my great X, which will give me my D10 and a D12. Uh, oh, and then on top of that, we do have the blessing of Lamatsu that popped up. So this is like this could not have played out much better for me to be able to defeat him and get this location closed. Um, now I could wait and try to use my regular Blessing of the Gods when I do the second check for that. Right now I have the capacity of 22, but given the fact that I also roll, I get a natural plus 5, so I would just have to get a 9 with these two dice. So, eh, a nine, or huh? no, a 10. I need to get a 10 with these two dice. Ooh, a 10 with two yeah, dice? Yeah, because he's got the plus 1 because of uh, the 1d4, so, um... Eh, that's not bad odds. I'll still use my Blessing of Torok to add an additional D10 to make sure. So, All right, let's do this thing. Uh, seven. Okay, got him. All right, so that was the first check. Now let's go to the second, which will be a 17. Uh -huh. So once again, I will use my Great Axe, but this time I will recharge it, which then will now give me just exactly what I already had. 
So, you know what? Gosh, I should have used my regular blessing the first time. Duh. Um, goodness, do I really need to use another blessing? I mean, he's going to be a 17. I just need to roll a, a, what, a 12? Yeah. With three dice. With two D10s and a D12. I could add two more D10s if I wanted to as well. Let's do it. <laughs> let's make sure. I mean, let's not play games. We already failed at this thing once, right? So... This, we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 52, a possible 52, <laughs> and I just need to get a 12, so, and he is I definitely good. I think he got a 12. All right. All right, so, right off the bat, the Skin Soul Man has now been defeated, which is great. We will have to pull two blessings out of the box. We are going to mix him up with those. I am going to close down this location, flip it over. Uh, okay. Should I have tried to temporarily close that? Oh, we didn't think about it. Dang it. Too late. Too late. Well, it's our own fault. I don't know why. I was so excited and focused on fighting him, hon. It's my own fault. Okay. You didn't think about it until right now either, did you? All right. Go ahead and shuffle all three of the locations. Yeah, because we could have made sure he went to the, either the Academy or the Foxglove Manor. I don't know why we didn't think about that. Oh, well. Hey, we started off so good. My first try, and I defeated him, right? Yeah, I mean, we yeah, can't one location down. Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo if he went to a place where we have to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not okay. going to sweat about that. But the good thing is, in a way, maybe it is kind of good that you didn't because you might encounter him before you encounter a haunt, which means you could close down your location before you acquire the haunt. Just that a thought. That would be nice. All right. There we go. So uh, I am all finished up. So it will go to you, Carmen, and I will now reset my hand. And if you notice, I do have the flaming mace now. <laughs> Try to finish getting my boots off here. Okay, it's a short sword. Yeah, just let it go. Who Check cares? to acquire strength melee four. You're not going to need it. My strength is a D8. You can try get it but, if you want. Yeah, there's but no point. You're not going to be able to carry it with you or nothing. I mean, that's the end. So, All right, so should I come to your location or should I go to one of these others? I mean, we talked about closing down these two on the end and then trying to move here. Seems how we can't. I don't know. I'm just throwing something out here. Well, I just fight so much better by myself that I... Okay. Well, I will then go to the Academy because I do have a chance and the Academy does let you explore again. So. Oh, yeah. So you'll get right. that so closed down pretty quickly. I did not flip my card, so I'll do that now. Ring of Protection. Fancy. Well, what does this thing do? Reveal this card to reduce damage dealt to you by one. You may play another item on this. Yeah, okay. Uh, constitution fortify, Fortitude 5. And my Constitution is a D8. So, and I got it. So, I do have a Ring of Protection. And the good thing is, I get to explore again because it wasn't a spell. Now it's a spell. An Intelligence Arcane 4. Well, my Intelligence is a D6. And I got it as wow. well. So I am on fire! Well, the bad part is, though, I can't... I definitely don't need this. That's going away. Um, I won't need that ring of protect... You know what? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Before I do anything, yeah. I'm going to use my um, my guide to explore again. So let's just keep going. Okay. Glibness. Uh, intelligence, Arcane, Wisdom, Divine, 6. So I could get that if I roll a 6. And I rolled a 3. So that okay. will be the end of my awesomeness here so that'll go away um now i just need to get one two three four five six i'll get rid of that and then i'll just keep these five so carmen back to you Ooh, who is whoa who is what this a fancy ally he is that dude is awesome okay El so sorry Ooh, let, let me do it let, let me let me pronounce it it's a uh, Ilosoria Glondai. <laughs> All right, so he is a. Add more <laughs> syllables. <laughs> well, he's an intelligence arc arcane seven or a charisma diplomacy six, but let's read what he does. Okay. During your turn, reveal this card and put it on top of your deck to examine the top card of the location deck. If it's a monster, you may shuffle that monster back into the location deck. After you play this card, roll one d12. On a one, summon and encounter the villain. The Sandpoint Devil? Holy crap! I want to fight the Sandpoint Devil! Get this guy! <laughs> Look, what do you roll? A D6? A D6. Get this guy, man. Come on, Carmen, you can do this. You roll get a six. guy that bad, I'm going to have to use a blessing. Get a six. Come on, honey. Oh, my Sorry. No! 
All right. Well, it was. It would have been funny. Y'all done? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm done. All right. So you could have used your codex, right? That's a boon, right? An ally. Is an ally a boon? Yeah, I think everything's I a boon. As long as it's not a bad thing, then it's a bane. I didn't think an ally was a oh, boon. Oh, well, I think you could probably save it for something better than that. Anyways. <laughs> All right, a soldier. Um, Charisma Diplomacy 6, so I'll attempt that. And I got a 4 plus my 2, so that is a 6. So I do get, get the soldier. So now, because he was not a spell, I get to explore again. Uh, Force Missile, Intelligence Arcane 4. I just need a 4. And I failed on that, so that will go away. However, I am going to use my soldier to explore my location again. A blessing of Callistra. Discard this. Ooh, I need this. A dexterity four or a divine five. I really want this um, because I, I, I got normal blessings, and I don't want normal blessings. So I need to get a four with this D8 because my dexterity is a D8. So come on. Yes. Yeah. So I get that. And I'm going to just, let's keep going, keep man. Going. Let's keep rolling. I am keep blasting through this deck. thing. So, all right. So now I've oh, encountered the no. haunt. All right. So the haunt will go in front of me. Now, this is where bad things are about to happen. You just had to, to keep going, didn't you? <laughs> it's all your <laughs> fault. Okay. So the haunt says, place this haunt next to your character card. For each haunt next to your character card, the difficulty of your checks is increased by one. At the end of the scenario, banish all haunts. When you encounter a haunt, you may immediately attempt to close the location. However, we've got to remember our scenario. It says, when you encounter a haunt, put it in front of you. Then, roll 1d6 and add the number of haunts in front of all players. If the result is five or more, summon and encounter the villain Aisha Foxglove. So, um, I'd imagine that I get to possibly close the location before I go after... I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really say because, I mean... It doesn't say immediately on the scenario, but it does say immediately on the haunt, so right. I am going to attempt first to close down the location. All right, so what can I do here? Because we know Aisha Foxglove is going to beat the hell out of me here in just a minute, right? So should I just go ahead and use my Blessing of Callistra? Oh, what's your uh, Blessing of Shaylin do? Discard this card to add two dice to a non-combat wisdom check. Mm, I needed it to be a intelligence. Yeah. Okay, well, I obviously should go ahead and use my blessing, which will now give me two D6s. Because I, I get a normal D6 for my intelligence. That'll give me an additional D6. Okay. Um, because he's here, I have to roll a 7 with these. Yeah. I think you need to discard or give me one of these two to give me an additional D6. Let's make sure we close this location okay. down. Okay. So that's going to give me three D6s. So let's, let's do this thing and let's see if I can close this location. Got it. Excellent. So that was 12, uh, 13, 14, 15. So the academy you now closed it. Good. has been closed. Um, now it says here, it says that on closing, you may shuffle a spell from your discard pile back into your deck. I do actually have one in my discard pile and I might as well do it. It gives me life, right? So let's do that. <laughs> well, I mean, what's the point of not taking it? Yeah. So, okay. All right. So now that is closed. These go away. However, Aisha has now appeared. So, all right, let's take a look at Aisha. She is awful. She says that if you, uh, she's immune to the mental and the poison traits. If your check to defeat Aisha does not have the magic trait, she is undefeated. So there's no way I can defeat her. Um, if defeated, choose a location deck and search it. Uh, for the villain, the skin saw man, if you find him, set him aside, shuffle the rest of the deck, and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. All right. Um, all right. So um, here we go. So a uh, charisma diplomacy divine. Um, all I get is a D6 for my charisma. And I think I'm about to take a pounding. So uh, here uh, we go. You want me to use nah, a blessing? Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. A two. All right. So I am going to now... Um, Use my half plate, and it says banish this card to reduce all damage dealt to you to zero. If you are proficient in heavy armors, bury this card instead. So I'm going to bury well, my half plate. there you go. So now right. she'll just go up there. So thank goodness I had the half plate to protect me. Otherwise, I would have awesome. been completely destroyed. So, All right, so I'm now going to end my turn there because okay. I have now closed not one, but two locations. Carmen Norris, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. Usually it's you running around nice. and me encountering all these crappy cards. So Strength melee 4. My strength melee is a d8. You can do it. A 4. A 4. So I got it. got a mace. Yay. What do you freaking do? All right. So 
you ending there? Sure. Exciting stuff, Carmen. I know. I guess I'll go over here to Fox Glove Manor and let's see what happens here. The, the land next haunt, so here we go. Good so grief. I get to encounter... Did, did I actually roll the actual die before I encountered her? Duh! You have to roll the die to see if you get a 5 or a 6 to even see if she's encounterable. Otherwise, you don't encounter oh. her. We totally forgot. So, yes, I would have encountered her. So there we go. All right, so first off, um, I get to now attempt to close down Foxglove Manor. Um, it says that succeed at an intelligence or arcane eight check. Okay. So I do have my blessing of uh, Eomena, so I'm going to discard that. So that will give me two D6s. Carmen, give me the blessing of her, so let's do this. Come on. And um, the three thing D6s. about it... Three D6s. I have three D6s, and the problem is I have to roll a ten with these three uh -huh. D6s. So come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I am oh. one short, Carmen, which stinks. Now, this location is going to stay open, unfortunately, and now I have to see if I have to encounter her at this location. Okay. If I roll a three, I do. I rolled a one, guys. Right. I have voided Aisha this time. So I will draw my hand back up, and Carmen, it is now back to you again. Okay. Come on, Carmen. It is bugbear. I'm a bugbear. I'm going to beat you okay. up, bugbear. So you find, okay, now we got to remember it says when you encounter a monster, put a random monster from the box on top of another random open location. Well, this is all, the only other random open location, so we are going to put that monster on that location. Okay. So thanks for the monster. You are welcome. Mm. I'm going to use my returning throwing axe put a hole in that bugbear. Put a hole in that bugbear. It's bug a D8 plus one. And my dexterity. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do that. Just get discard that and get two d6s. There you go. I mean, psh. might as well. You ain't gonna use that. <laughs> That's the only reason you had it. Uh, four, five, six, seven. Boom! You got him with the plus. Yep. There you go. All okay. right. So the bugbear has been defeated. Um, and I take That's it you're for done, me. right? Okay. I'll just continue here. All right, so I get I ended up getting a goblin cut purse. So I will use my flaming mace. It says for your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die plus one d eight. So my strength is a d ten. So I get a plus eight. That is a bad goblin. It says you may additionally discard this card to add another d four with the fire trait. I don't know if I need to do that. I've, I've, I get a plus six. Um, he's going to be a ten because of the two haunts on me. So I get a plus six. Which means all I need okay. to do is roll a four with these two dice. Before the encounter, oh, succeed, succeed at a wisdom or perception six check. Um, or bury one random card from your hand. Or it, it says, or bury one. Well. You have to succeed at it. Right. Well, I'm not going to be able to succeed at that. Oh, okay. Um, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to bury one. I'll just bury the, uh, the ring of protection. There we go. Boy, <laughs> that's three cards buried. I have never buried that much stuff. Yeah. All right, and he is dead. So there goes the goblin cut purse. Bye-bye, goblin. That was the monster you threw at me, by the way. I just want <laughs> to remind you on that. So, Carmen, okay. it is now back to you, and I'm going to straighten up our stuff here. So, Collapse ceiling. Uh, it's a good thing you got your masterwork tools, Okay. Huh? I do have my masterwork So the tools. collapsed ceiling is a... Dexterity, Acrobats, Constitution, Fortitude, 8. It says the difficulty to defeat the barrier is increased by the adventure deck number, which would make it a 10. However, your yes. Masterwork tools... Recharge this card to defeat a barrier whose highest difficulty to defeat is 14. So the or collapse lower. ceiling is gone. So you are good. All right. So I don't get anything special for defeating it? Nope. You get uh, to live. It stinks. Sometimes living is... is, is I have is, my is a, holy candle. My holy, 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 holy Oh, holy good, candle. good. We're not going to need it, though, because I think we're flying through it this second <laughs> time. So, all right, my turn. Diseased rats. Okay, so uh, it says here that... Um, that is disgusting. A combat 11. If undefeated, the diseased rats deal no damage. Instead, succeed at a constitution of fortitude eight check or discard the top card of your deck. All right, so we'll use our sieve, which gives me a D10. Plus, I'm going to recharge it, which will give me three D4s. And uh, we're just going to beat the crap out of these things. So they will actually be a combat 13 for me because of my two haunts. Uh -huh. So uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 22, 20. 23. I kill it for 23. So then some dead rats. Corman, it is back to you. And it is a snake. Sneaky snake. Which goes is an dancing. ally. Wisdom. What is that? He's a wisdom survival, survival. six. Okay, my wisdom is a six. Oh, well, you might be able to get him. Okay. Come on, girl, get a sneaky snake. No. Nope. And you got a one. Good I job. got a one. <laughs> All right. I'm just doing so much over here. Why don't you go ahead and use your uh, holy candle? Get it out of your hand. Bury this card. Shuffle one d six random cards from the blessings discard pile into the blessings deck. Okay. Three. I'm just gonna pull the top three off. I shuffle the discard. Now I'll shuffle these. I don't think it matters that much, but okay. And now it's back to me. Correct? Yes. All right. Let me roll. Let's get through this thing here. And sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and it's Intelligence Arcane 4, then if I roll a 6 with this, I've got it. I rolled a 1. Sleep, go away. Alright, Carmen, back to you. The Skin Saw Man! Alright, so you are by yourself. You have to roll a d4 to see if you have to see how much you have to add to his check. A 2. two. So he will be a 16 and an 18 for you to defeat. Okay, my returning throwing X is my Dexterity Die plus a d8. Plus one, uh, maybe I can go ahead and get rid of this guy for two D6s, yep. plus one. Okay, so you've got a plus two, which negates his plus on him, but then you're going to have another plus two with your dexterity, so you need yes. to roll a 12 with those four dice. And that is done. Okay, yes. so let's go to the next one. Um, I'm imagining you're doing the exact same process. The exact same process, and okay. I will get rid of my armor. Okay. Now you need to roll a 14 with this. 12, 18, 19, nice. 20. Great work, Carmen. This location is now closed as well. So, now one thing about this, though, um, he is a monster. So, technically, we do have to put a monster on my location. And just put it down, face down. On Congratulations. Yep. Um, but, however, you did close down the last, the next location, Yay! so it does uh, no effect when you close, and let's shuffle this up. Was there no effect? Okay. I was just checking if there was an effect. I couldn't remember. All right, so are you all finished up then? Yep. So it's just a matter of you and I finding the Skin Soul Man in Foxglove Manor. We will defeat him, and this... Wow! We flew through this! Yeah. I mean, for as much trouble as this gave us the first time, this yeah. is insane. I, yeah. We obviously learned from our first uh, experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. We learned the hard way that you defeat the Sandsaw Man, because we can't close the locations otherwise. Yeah. All right, here I go. There. Oh. What are the chances of him being the top one? I mean, come on, seriously? The bad part is I don't have a lot of weapons here. Um... That's the really bad thing. And I am by myself, so... Uh, my crossbow can add, if I discard it, it can add a d4 okay. to your... So, here's the problem, too, that I've got two haunts, and I rolled a okay. 2 with this. So, this is going to be a 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, 20. and a 20. Yeah. Wow. All okay. right, so I'll use my flaming mace on the very first time we fight. And, um... All right, so I'll, I'll, I'll add... Uh, that gives me a d10 plus a d8... Uh, and then I don't want to discard it, obviously, so I'm going to hang on to it. Um, are you going to... Uh, just hang on to it. Uh, uh, let's just see what I can do. I mean, I don't... I can't beat him. I'm just, I'm just thinking that if you beat him the first time, then I'll try to help you out for the second one. Well, I can discard this for the second one. Oh. So that's... So I need to roll a... Okay, so let's see. Okay, so he is a, hang on, so he is a 14, 56, 18, minus 6. So I need to roll a 12 with a D10 and a D8. Which You want a D4? Let's just add a yeah, D4. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Might as well. All right, let's see what happens. So I need to roll a, what was it, a 12, did I say? If I remember correctly, because I, I get to subtract yeah. 6 from, it's from 18. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he beat me on the very first one. Um, so I will have to say, let's see here. 
This was a one-handed weapon. Um, reveal this card to reduce combat damage to you by two. If you're proficient with light armors, you may play another armor on this check. If you play the two-handed weapon, okay, if you're proficient with light armors, you recharge this card when you reset your hand. Okay. Um, I will end up using my half plate. Because yeah. how much was the difference? Was this? Three. Three difference? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I will use the... I will use the magic shield because that that'll be two, and then what I'll do is then I'll discard it for the third damage. You reveal it to reduce the combat damage to okay. you by two, and then the third piece of damage, then I'll just discard it. So I'm not going to be able to defeat him, but I do have to do the second check though because it does say oh. 14 then 16. Oh, so I, I, I'm imagining you have to do both of them. All right. So I mean that just makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Um, I will use my flaming mace again, um, so it's going to be all these same dice uh, again. So we'll just have to see what uh, comes about. that D four was from me. Uh, no, because I'm going to discard this, recharge it for an additional D four. Oh, okay. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, so I will have to banish this card to reduce all damage dealt to you. If you're proficient in heavy armors, bury it instead. So I'm going to bury it there. So, and then that gets recharged. I have four buried cards, Carmen. Have wow. I, have we ever had four buried cards? Um, all right, so, unfortunately, well, the good thing is there's no open location, so... Yeah. He just gets shuffled right back in here, so... No big deal. No harm, no foul. I knew I wouldn't be able to beat, beat him. I didn't have enough weapons. He's just too strong yeah. for me. But the good thing is with both of us here, we get to switch off on the checks. So right. not one of us is going to have to be, deal with him just by themselves. All right. Okay. I wish we would have had a regular blessing. Gosh, could you imagine how awesome that would have been? Because we could have matched that blessing of Lamatsu there. Here I am. All right. Now, I can discard this card to examine the top two cards in the deck and put them back in any order. Do I want to do that now or oh, yeah. after? No, no, no. Right now. Right now. Right now. Yeah, absolutely. Giant Hermit Crab and the Skin Saw Man. I say we go after the Skin Saw Man. What do you think? Um, I've got the Long Sword, but I've got the two Haunts. You have no Haunts, but you're with me. Um, regardless, I'm going to have to fight him on my next turn. I mean, it doesn't matter. If you fight him on your next turn, though, I'm going to be able to draw back up. Right now, I don't really have any cards to help either one of us. If I lose all my cards, I'm dead. So just let you okay. know. So, so when do we want to fight him? Now. Let's fight him. Let's fight him. We can do this, can't we? I don't we? have anything to help. Nothing. You have your throwing axe. Well, I don't know. Okay. I, I guess. Can, okay, I can recharge. Do, do this. Do this. Put him on top and evade him. Oh. And then he'll just get shuffled in. And that hopefully then what I'll do is I'll reset my hand. Next turn, and then hopefully I can get something better. I don't have good stuff. Uh, oh, but you don't have very many cards either. No, I don't. Okay. There's Maybe. not. There's not a lot of monsters here. I can recharge my throwing axe. Um, to add another d6. That's it. Well, what I'm what, what I'm getting at is is that if you roll a four on him, he's going to be a twenty twenty two for me to try to defeat him on the second check. I can't do it. Okay. I can't do it. There's no So way. I will put him on top. I only have one weapon again. I will uh, evade him. Okay. All these are weapons. My last cards, all of them are weapons. Every single one of these are weapons. That's the bad part. So i got to get rid of some cards in my hand. Okay. So, well, hopefully I get the um, that wand. Do and, it. yeah, because I have no more armors or nothing. Wow. Got to make sure I shuffle it right, because people say they can see the bottom card while I'm shuffling. <laughs> well, I don't see it. So. <laughs> I know. Okay, so you put him on top, and then you evaded him. Either which way, it didn't matter. Hopefully, he's not back on top again. Well, All it right. could be a haunt, though. You realize that. There's still a third haunt. And if it is a haunt, it's not a bad uh, bad thing, really. Um, should I, before I draw back up, should I get rid of the codex? Uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Oh, good. You got two blessings. That's perfect. Okay. Um, and Poog. I flipped my card, and I am not going to explore. I am actually going to get rid of my Acid Arrow spell, and then I'm going to just draw up. Re I've reset only got my hand. three cards left. Yeah. 
Ready? This is you. Okay. Good. That helps. All right. So that is a Constitution four. So you just have to roll with the D eight, I believe. My Constitution is a D six. Okay. Well, uh, I would not worry about discarding anything for that. So we have enough stuff in our hands now that if we fight him, we got him. Just so you know. Uh, four. Uh, you got it. Fantastic. So might as well explore again. Okay, uh, I guess it doesn't matter um, which one. So, okay. It's a Ooh, dagger. dagger plus one. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, but that's a dexterity range six, so you get to roll your d12, and uh, you get a plus two, so you got to get a four with that. And she got a <laughs> I one. I rolled a one. One. Aw, bye-bye, Dagger. It's kind of neat looking. It was magic, too, but I don't think it matters anymore, does it? I mean, you got better stuff. All right, so are you all finished up? Um, yeah, I guess. Okay. Unless you want me to explore again. No, no, keep your blessings. I think we're going to need them, so. Ready? What if we don't find him? We will. Look, there's a haunt and him in here. We're going to find him. There's no doubt about it. All right, a giant hermit crab. Um, so it says here, if the giant hermit crab would be defeated, re-roll the dice and use the new yeah, result. Yeah, you're right. It's our decks we're worried about, not the blessings deck. No, we're not blessings worried about this. Fine. Okay, so he is a combat nine. So um, I will use my great axe. Actually, I, I'll just use my long sword. And um, no, 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 I will. I'll use the great axe. Yeah. And then um, trying to remember what all I got in here. I should be okay. All right, so I will roll a d10. And then I get a d12 as well. And then I'm going to get an additional d10 because I'm going to recharge this. So, All right. And he will be an 11 minus 5. So I need to roll a 6 with these dice. So, uh, so that got him, but then I have to re-roll. And I got him again. Okay. So the Hermit Crab has been defeated. And I will throw back up. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay. It is a... Oh, wait. What? What? Oh, never mind. Okay. okay. Lightning bolt, intelligence, arcane, eight. I cannot get it. Okay, so it just goes away. Okay. All right. Ready? Here I go. Here he is. All right, this is game. You ready? I'm okay. Ner I'm nervous, too. Okay. So, I need to do the first check because I am definitely in the worst shape with all these haunts. So, we had a four. Oh my no, god. No, 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 no. No, we don't. What do you mean? Oh, so we're not alone. alone. Opt up. Okay, so good. Okay. So, he will be a 16 for me to defeat the first time. Yes. I am going to use my Sith. You need to give me a blessing as well. Okay. Okay, so that's going to give me a 2d10s and then 3d4s because I am going to recharge this. I get a plus six, so I need to roll a 10 with three d4s and one d10, correct? You get a plus five and then a, a an additional one because okay. of the actual weapon. Okay, all right, got him. So that's number one. All right. I could possibly do it again. The only thing is I, I have, I, have I think, what would you add up to, and let's see what I would add up to, okay? Because he'll be an 18 for me, and he'll be only a 16 for you. So okay. let me add up what all I could get, because you could use this blessing as for me. Oh, that'll give you 2d12s, won't it? Uh, it just adds one die. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You're definitely. So I'm going to now pass, and Carmen is going to take on the second combat so, check. There's my dexterity die. Uh, the blessing gives me another d12. Um, a d8 for my returning throwing axe, plus one. So, uh, then I've got plus two on my uh, dexterity. You get a plus four, you get this, a d4 with a plus one from me, because you're fighting in my location. Okay, uh, recharge this card to add three with the fire trait to a combat yep. check. so that'll be Poog. So that's a plus three, plus mine, so that's a plus four. Plus your normal two, that's a plus five, five six. six. So that's a plus six total, right? So you just need to get a ten. <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't have haunts. I can do this. Oh, uh, 
An there 11, a 3, a 1, and a 3. The Skin Saw Man has been defeated. This location is closed. We did it in Foxglove Manor. Woo! Uh, so. Yeah. Wow. We destroyed it. All right, we got him. Woo! All right, so it took us two tries on this one. And guys, come on, man, don't freak out because I didn't actually show the last time we did the live play of this. All right, I, uh, we got defeated. He beat us. These things take a long time to produce, guys, and uh, truthfully, I don't want to have to do the same scenario twice because it takes me about five, six hours to produce one of these videos. Anyways. Yeah, we're trying to get through the scenarios. We so want to get caught up. Exactly. Okay. A um, couple things. That was so close. I mean, really, that was that shocking. That was really close. Because she only had three cards left in her draw pile, and I only had four. If that mm -hmm. last battle would have went south on us... One of us I, could have actually died. I don't know if I had exactly three, but if I would have lost all my cards and had to redraw, that was it. Yeah. I would have been dead. Would same been same dead, dead, if dead. he would have had to have lost all his cards and, and I, redraw. So that was really close. I have never had to bury four cards. I don't think we've ever had a game <laughs> where combined we, we've had four cards buried. Gosh, I don't remember ever burying more than one card, this to tell you the truth. Me. Yeah, this one was a tough scenario, but that was fun. And that was a challenge. And I tell you what, losing that first time around... That was actually kind of enjoyable. It made me realize we are yeah. vulnerable. Yeah, we, yeah. We're not super. We're not indestructible. <laughs> nope. Not as great as we thought we were. Um, um, I think, you know, the time has come. I mean, we could not close down these locations, and um, that's something that's starting to worry me a little bit, you know. We're kind of low on the intelligence. We don't have arcane, and uh, I think that's starting to hurt us. It is a tad bit. So speaking of that, though... We do get the check mark off a skill feat. Skill feat. I'm thinking of going intelligence with uh, Valeros. Now I'm either going to go intelligence or I'm going to go charisma. Charisma will help me get more allies, better allies. The intelligence will well, just. And then uh, Aisha was charisma, and we couldn't. We couldn't yeah. even try to beat her. No, so. well, we couldn't defeat her regardless because you had to have with it a magic trait, and there's it's it's impossible for you and yes. I to do it. There's only one character who can do it in the whole game, so. Um, but I I'm thinking of going either Intelligence or Charisma. What do you guys think? And? I'm thinking Wisdom, um, because my Intelligence is a D4. So there I feel like know, D4 yeah. plus one is not really going to help me any. But a D6 plus one, uh, you know, on Wisdom, that might actually do me some good. Do me some good. So. Okay, so hey, uh, guys, uh, leave your comments below and let us know uh, which one we should probably check mark. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Anything else you'd like to... Oh, just, I'm really happy uh, that we did that first scenario, even though we lost, because I got another crossbow. So and I got another cool. sip. Which yeah, is cool. yeah. <laughs> okay, so hey, after the credits, uh, as usual, you'll see which cards we do carry over, which I don't think we have very much to choose from this time. But uh, anyway, yeah, regardless. Yeah, we had a lot the first time. <laughs> yeah. So check that out, and then, guys, we'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. First thing we are going to do, we are going to carry over our weapons. I can carry five. One, two, three, four, five. Easy I can decision. carry three. Goodbye, Mace. All right. Next thing, uh, armors. I can carry three. So, hey, I actually ended up... I carry one. Magic shield. It actually came in handy. Okay. All right. Items. Okay, now I've got a decision to make. Um, i got some pretty decent items here because... Uh-huh. The Ring of Protection isn't that bad. Reveal this card to reduce damage dealt to you by one. You may play another item on this check. That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, but I think I'm going to keep my Masterwork Tools and my Eyes of the Eagle. So, there you go. Uh, I these, think I'm going to keep... These three should be guaranteed. I, I don't need that. Okay, so I you're just going to keep what yeah. you got. Okay. All right. Now, allies, I can keep two. So, I think I will keep... The guide and the dog, and the soldier will go by my. And I'll keep my two that I already have. Okay. Kug and Sardak. Now I can keep four blessings. So these three are guaranteed. I have a Torog, Kalistra, and Eomita. Okay, I can keep four blessings, and I have five. Okay. So. Oh, okay, and I'll just take a generic one. So. Uh, well, no, no, no. What? You can. Pick oh, one of you've these. got a good one. Okay, well, which one you know? I didn't realize you had all good ones. Well, let's see. Uh, my wisdom is a D6. What's your wisdom? Uh, D4. So my wisdom is You want the wisdom one? Sure. Okay. 